Yo, what's going on guys, it's Swanson Next TV. I, I finally back with another episode of the WWE 2K19. My career mode it has been literally about a week since I've even played 2K19. And that is for the sheer reason of Red Dead Redemption came out. And I know I should have had videos or, well, episodes pre-prepared so they could go out. But I just didn't do that. Um... <laughs> There is one thing as well, um, if I played this series straight, um, every update, uh, every day uploading, I think this series would actually be over, as I've actually had some insight on a friend who has actually completed the career mode, and apparently there's only 10 more chapters to go, there's only 14 chapters in this entire thing. So I don't know how long I can actually drag it out, um, or like how, you know, like, yeah, how long it will actually take. Um, he did say also you can defend the belt um, pretty much over and over again uh, when you, you know, basically finish the career mode. Um, so we'll see what actually happens. I might actually transcend to universe mode. Uh, we're going to be doing 2K showcase as well. There's going to be still try and still be a lot of content for WWE 2K19. Uh, the career mode has progressively got worse. On, well, I'm not saying on this channel, but, um, sort of. 2K17 was the first one I did. I really enjoyed that, but it had some aspects that were pretty bad. 2K18, it went well, but I quit early because I just didn't like the way it was designed. And this one's very short. It's more story-based. So it's like, we can't really win with WWE. But either way, guys, enough of me rambling on. We're Chapter 4, a life-changing invasion. I think the last time we picked off, we've got a match... Uh, on Raw, but uh, yeah, let's get right into it guys, and let's try and make the best of this career mode Alright, here we go guys, NXT, uh, I don't know why I said Raw, like, two minutes ago Who's it gonna be? Triple H? Really? Wait, nah, alright, I was about to say, well he's in suit, so Who will be my opponent? Sorry, Buzz, I'm not your opponent tonight Oh. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks, and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Oh, my God. Come on out. No, it can't be. It can't be. Good God Almighty is the red face guy. I love it. It's such a poor design. Oh, and guys, I'm actually, I think maybe next episode, or at the end of this episode, I'm actually going to tell you my theory on who that is. Um, I, I begged my friend to basically confirm if I got it right, uh, and he wouldn't, because he just wanted my, you know, sheer reaction when it finally happened. But I'll tell you my theory at the end on why I think I know who it is, or the reasons, or, well, the, the best sort of, you know, Motive on who it is. Oh, oh, my guy's raging. Big Brad Stevens. Chicken. <laughs> Alright, but let's beat this guy. Let's get this match done. Masked attacker, Christ. Oh, he's reversed it already. NXT. NXT. Oh, look at that belly to belly. Beautiful. I can't even remember like moves set or that. Like, forward to this one for oh. quite some time. Aha! Reversal. Oh, close line. Close line. Two. Another one. Three. Like, if this was real life and you were like an indie star and you are battling on NXT, you would just break the rules and get like pick the guy's mask off. Like, surely. Oh, look at that! Just absolutely destroying him. But yeah, I, that's what I would do anyway. Uh, just pick his mask straight off. But yeah, I reckon I know who it is just from the analogy of this guy right now. Specifically, his uh, height, his build, and a very good motive. Um, yeah, my friend gave me one clue. He said it is a guy you've already seen. So that basically put the nail in the coffin for me. Uh, and this dude keeps reversing. Oh my god. But yeah, I think it's actually quite easy to uh, figure out who it is if you think about it. 
Uh, I'll, I'll tell you at the end of this episode who I think it is or know it is. Or if we actually just see who it is in general. I might actually just tell you who my, my, my theory is maybe after the match. Wait a minute. I've just realised. Um, I don't know when he's going to get unmasked. So I'm going to tell you my theory right now. That dude is Baron Blade. 100%. And I'll tell you my theory on why I think it is. I've not seen anything uh, like YouTube related. I've not searched it. No one's told me. This is my hunch. I hunched this from the beginning. If you go back a couple of episodes, literally because there's only like three, um, I said I think it's Baron Blade. Now the reason for that is if you look at his stature, if you look at the height of him, he's the same height as Baron Blade. He's the same build, he's sort of stocky, um, so that basically he fits perfectly with him. And if you get the motive, the moment um, BCW um, sort of like, you know, we were introduced, um, like our guy Brad, Brad Stevens or Buzz or whatever, um, he was destined to go to NXT. Baron Blade being a failed wrestler, could not hack that. It could not like say like, all oh, right, he he's going there. Like I missed my opportunity because I suck, and he's leaving my BCW. So you know my prime talent is gone. So my company will fall. That's the reason behind it. One hundred percent. His motive is to keep him at BCW to promote it because he knows if my guy Brad Stevens, aka Buzz, goes away then he will lose, like, basically everything, because I am his main attraction. That's why he sabotaged me, 100%. If I get this right, I'm going to recap back to this moment and to the first time I said it, when the game pretty much first came out, um, I'm going to be so pleased with myself, because I 100%, it's, it's, it's freaking Baron played. It can't be Cole Quinn, because he's a midget, and, oh, he's not midget, but he's really small, and he's skinny, uh, that bit, that guy just fits Baron Blade's perfect, pers uh, yeah, perfect description. There we go. So yeah, that's my theory, guys. I wanted to sort of pause it there for a second because I realised that you never know. You could get masked after this match. I don't know uh, because obviously I'm playing through the career mode at the same time. Uh, you guys are. Uh, I, li I like things in a sequence. Apparently, my guy. Where you go? Hey. Well, wait. Get mass attacker to red health and then hit him with it. I didn't even see that objective like seriously alright I guess we're going for the body then because well I guess we are it would be easier to do the head but I guess we're not having that luxury as the body's already yellow nice job getting out of the way of that one but yeah let me know you guys in the comments down below if uh, you think it's Baron Corbin no spoilers if you actually know if it is Baron or not uh, because, you know, who does that? Why would you want to spoil it for everyone else? You're a sick person if you do that. Ow. Nope. I should have well reversed that one. Oh my god, I hate this move. I need to, I need to customize my move set after this 100%. Oh. What's he doing? Runs. Boom. There we go. Oh, he's reversed. He reverses quite a lot, so that means he has just a lot of wrestling experience. If you remember 2K17, one of my great rivals, Baron Blade, uh, he did have a little bit of you know, stuff. The weird thing is, as well... Oh yeah, reverse. The weird thing is, as well, um, is... Like, Baron Blade has, one, aged a lot. In two years. Oh my god, he's reversed the signature. Seriously? Like, in the first, I think it was, yeah, 2K17, he was a wrestler. Then 2K18, he was like our little manager dude or something. Um, okay. He was trying to pull off the mask. And then in this one, he's like 50 years old or something. Like, that's what it looks like. Oh my god, really? Player must won by, alright, pinfall or submission, I was about to say. Let's sit down. We didn't even get him to red health. We got him to orange health. Oh, that was strange. I think it must have just been like, yeah, you're taking too long. <laughs> really? He is reversing like a lot. Oh my god. That was sick. Seriously. 
I actually could lose this match. What's he doing? Why is he just staring at me? Hello? Oh, there we go. Sit down. Yeah. Why can't I get a finish? Oh my this God. Is favorite move. Yes. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Yeah, th this is just a move, a quick move to get him down. Watch him reverse the stupid signature again. Wow, I thought he yep. was Oh. He's not going to go Boom. No superstar worth his All right, we've got a signature and the finisher. Takedown right there. Well, oh, we've got no stamina. Michael. Come on, get up. What is Buzz having oh, right Spine Master! Alright, we're just going for the cover just to this be sure. Doesn't matter if we use the finisher or not. We just need to win. There we go, winner Brad Stevens. AK Buzz. So you reversed a lot. That was, that was quite an annoying match. Yeah, we won! Oh. Are we? Oh yeah, I got the achievement. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. Who's it gonna be? Oh wait! That's yes, I was right. Blade, Woo! I was right. I'm yes. sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Yes, I was right. Your BCW wouldn't last, but more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. Yes, and I, I knew know I was after right. you lost your dad, I'm so, I was like a father to you. <laughs> I'm so glad I paused it during the Don't match. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No. Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We Boom. are done. Yes, there we go. I knew I was right. Wait, just please forgive me. No, don't go do it. Go ahead. Hit me if it makes you feel better. Yeah, help him. Please give me it. the option. Give me the option, please. God damn it. You're not worth it. No. Yeah. <laughs> I told you this match would change your life forever. God damn it. God damn for what? You played us. I swear I had no idea about Baron. I'm it's, just a shot. Sorry, sorry Cole. Just want to get out of here. Why does my guy look like hurry, four years old? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? What's he Maybe wearing? Might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from? After I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere and the okay. moment they informed me baron was the masked man that attacked you i could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces you know but it took a bit H. of convincing to get baron to do the match i told him that i'd keep his secret but i was going to expose him either way so take your stuff take your little buddy here and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives savage oh, wait there's one more thing you might want to know I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match. Because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Oh. Hey guys, hold on a That's second. A yeah, oh. we couldn't help over here all that. Let's on Daniel Bryan. plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks, and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd yes, Daniel Bryan. to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. 
I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does oh. always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Haha. <laughs> Fine. He's your problem now. Yeah! You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. Yeah, you best not forget. So Please what's it going to be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Smackdown, yes. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. No, I'm good. Smackdown, Smackdown. Please see you get a pet. Yay. This has been an emotional night, and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now... Smackdown. I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on Smackdown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable. Hey, bro. Oh, <laughs> what a crazy night. I know. That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I I'm, I'm still looks in shock like, from everything like that happened. Like a 50-year-old Why is he weird? Down. Not that you need it. You're going to do great. Aw, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Hey. Aww. Well, legend. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? <laughs> oh, okay, well... I'm gonna miss you, man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> Just a regular handshake. Let's keep it simple. Yeah, we're we're on WWE now, guys. We're moving up in the world. I've still got oh, that. Hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been what a the minute. Hell? I have an idea. <laughs> One last road trip together? Let's do this. <laughs> wow! Oh, uh, really? <laughs> It's gonna break down. I knew it. I was God, a bit. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs. Uh, no way. All right, this van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Uh. It's a bug <laughs> van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. Oh yeah, I'm on the front cover. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Uh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Well done, Corey, man. Why are you be hitting? Welcome to SmackDown. Hey, I'm Daniel glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're Fair going enough. to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's U.S. title. 
Oh, That's yeah. great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. Hey, it's Big Ginger. Oh, it's Big Bobby Roode, isn't it? I guess we're taking the in ring approach. Up next is one of the most dangerous matches. Oh, in yeah, all we've got the battle royal, guys. Why does my guy look very, very small compared to everyone else? I do not know. But if we win this, we get a US title opportunity for, I was about to say for the US title, but that's why I said US title opportunity. That would make sense. But yeah, um, I think the right hand side is looking a bit more favourable. Like, Mojo Raleigh sucks, Ty Dillard just sucks, Xavier Woods is alright, but he still sucks. My guy is amazing. Baron Corbin, pretty good. Jinder, I hate him, but for some reason he's he's considered good. Rusev, he's actually alright. Yeah, he's pretty good. Zack Ryder, Zack Ryder. Woo, woo, woo. Oh my god! Just went straight for Ty Dillard. Right, hopefully we can win this. Just gonna put him out straight away. Oh, look at this, look at this. Elimination already. Brad Stinger's just eliminated. Ty Dillinger, I forgot his name. Just I, need, I need someone to focus on. Rusev. Come here. Alright, you're going out next. Oh, and he goes out. And Xavier Woods. Who, who's next? Jinder. Do not hinder the Jinder. Ow. What the hell, Xavier? Uh, I actually can't reverse it, that fast. There we go. Right, you need to just go out. Like, right now. Oh my god, you reverse it. Oh my Go for it. The German super flex. Right, I think you need to leave my ring boots. Oh my god, he just keeps reversing it. Really. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, kip up. Oh no. God damn, Jinder, leave me alone. Wait, do I have... See, I can't actually see... Oh, 25%? I actually thought I had like 90%. Right, Xavier, you need to leave the ring right now. Just leave. I don't think he. I've done enough health damage. Mojo Raleigh, not in a great way here. Oh, I got that. Might as well just cancel it. For who's? All right. You know what? I'm gonna go for Mojo. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not gonna end well. Oh wait, I think he actually might go out right now. Wait, can can I help Baron Corbin? Yes, I can. Boom! Me and Baron Corbin working together. Oh, right in the corner to the Leave. Leave the ring. You're out. Yes! There are three people left. And he takes Jinder Mahal out. What's our percent? 71, that's that's alright. Go for it. German super box. Let's go for another one just for the the banter. Oh, and again! 85%. You wonder why I keep pausing it. I have this little sort of um recording thing that's like over my uh Momentum is always like that when I play WWE, it's very annoying. Oh, he's got the chops! Brett Flair would be proud. Oh, for Superplex. He's got him up, and he plants him down. Now we've got a signature. Try and get Corman with that right now. Oh, go for it! Spine Master from Stevens! Oh, and of course he reverses the move. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar works. Oh, look at that reversal as well. Seems to be good. Get out my right. I'm seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match. No. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Oh, 
Major reversal. My guy's got zero stamina. Absolutely nothing. You need to just lie down. Sit down and lie down. I don't care. I need stamina, bro. Oh. Picking him up. Oh, I'm moving. That's actually what Leave my ring. Don't reverse. Don't reverse. Yes. It's me versus Baron Corbin. For an opportunity at the United States Championship. Wait. Yeah, I've got a signature and a finisher. At WrestleMania right 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drop. Go for it again. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't have the double finisher like thing. But he's got to capitalize now. I don't know if Corbin can recover. I hate to agree with you, but you're right. Go for it. TKO to Corbin. Yes. There is no coming back from that one. Bye bye. Yep, see you later. Oh my god, he reversed it. What? Bye-bye. So Woo! We won! We're going on a face body room for the United States Championship. You're looking at the new number one contender Woo. for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live. He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. My guy's the best. Coming for that US title. Oh, it's Bobby Roode. The US champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears oh, Bobby Roode isn't too impressed with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the US title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the US title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his US title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to Ooh, hear him try backlash. to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. Oh, what's he gonna say? Uh, did I get a pick? Alright, there we go. Select turns. US title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catcher. I'm going to savor the moment when I face Bobby Roode. Um, yeah, let's, let's go for this one. This seems all right, <laughs> I guess. Now, granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. The U.S. title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. Because what's truly glorious about that title is its history. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Yeah. Brett the Hitman. Mentioned Hart, in the legends. Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy Ric Flair. Those are just a handful of the legends who were once U.S. champion. Yeah. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. So when I become U.S. champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious! <laughs> You know, it was a bit cheesy it, towards the end, but... Oh, no, good. Let me stop you right there. You come to SmackDown last week. Get lucky by winning a battle royal. And then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? You said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your stupid rookie mouth. Because you have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. I haven't heard that one before. Do we get an attack while we're I've been at not? this for 20 years now. That's two decades of leaving everything that I have in that ring night after night. And what have you been doing? Wrestling one, maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym? So you Ooh. have no right to come out here and say that I am just a catchphrase. Because I have proof that I can back up everything that I say. 
What do you have? Oh, that's right. Nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Ooh, seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why, so you can say your catchphrase? Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our US title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you? The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. Oh, I remember my match. I'm proposing a match that's the ultimate in ring test. No match against you will ever be a test, but please continue. <laughs> okay. If you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on in an Iron Man match. Oh. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Buzz's U.S. title match against Bobby Roode is now an Iron Man match. That's an Iron Man match. All right, guys, as you can see, we're on the Backlash pay-per-view Iron Man match. Now, I'm actually going to keep it for next episode's episode 5. Um, so guys, if you did enjoy this, if you did enjoy the unmasking and correction that I got of Baron Blade, hopefully you guys uh, liked it. So if you did, leave a like. Pretty sure I just said that twice, actually. Subscribe if you're new around here or haven't already. Comment something down below. I will be replying to comments. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you with episode 5 and the US title Iron Man match next time. Peace.